early on a Saturday morning and we are in line for the SS Badger car ferry to go from Ludington, Michigan to Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Manitowoc. Manitowoc. Or, or however you pronounce it because they're in Wisconsin and we have enough unpronounceable names in Michigan. We'll let them worry about it. Plus, there's a different <laughs> accent between Wisconsin and Michigan, probably. Although anybody from not around here probably thinks you all sound like you're from the Midwest, so it doesn't really matter. But we're super excited to take this today. It's not exactly the weather day we planned. They, the brochures all made it sound like it was going to be sunny and 80 degrees and it's 60 and storming. But we'll make the best of it. It'll be a new experience. And we're just excited to take the van and go across the lake and have a new adventure. So it's four hours across from the lake from Michigan to Wisconsin. Uh, but it means on our trip to Minnesota, we do not have to drive down and around and through Chicago. So in the rain, nonetheless, <laughs> in the rain, we've done days worth of rain and I'm over that. So uh, we're going to get on board here soon and we'll get some footage as we go and take you along with us. Greetings from Wisconsin. We made it after about a four hour trip. Um, the ferry's back there somewhere in the fog. It was very <laughs> foggy the whole way over. Yeah, it was, it was actually a really good trip. I mean, four hours didn't really feel like four hours by the time you wandered around the ship, looked at everything to do, played some badger bingo, visited the gift shop, uh, got a bite to eat, and just kind of people watched, and I would say watched out the windows, but it, like you said, it was pretty foggy most of the trip. <laughs> at least the lake was pretty calm. I mean, for those who might get motion sick, I, you know, I can a little bit. I didn't think it was bad on there at all. The, the no. ship is so big and it was calm waters even with the rain and the storm and everything so that was good overall but yeah there's plenty to do there's they play movies um there's a game room for the kids normally that's not up and operating right now because we're in just post covid so that's still not going on right now and everything but all in all it was uh comfortable lots of different kinds of seating in there depending on where they want to be inside outside if it's not raining uh but even inside there was different kind of seats and i don't know i just thought it was a really nice setup for you know to spend your four hours it really isn't that bad i would recommend it depending on you know where you're going or coming to or if you just want to you know go for a little mini cruise it's it's well beats driving down and around chicago or even up through the up um and you know the four hours goes by fast we did play a little like we said there's badger bingo and they do trivia where you can win prizes uh, you can check games and cards out from the like the captain's desk and we saw a number of people doing that and they do have you know some food on board just uh, depending like breakfast sandwiches salad pizza hot dogs you know some basics so that you can grab breakfast and lunch but yeah i i just thought it was an enjoyable experience they do have staterooms available too if you wanted to spend a little more and just i guess crash in a bed for a few hours and get a nap or if you're a family with little kids and just want to have some privacy, that might be nice to do that as well. So check into that if, if you need that. But overall, I thought it was a good trip. It's something I'd do again. I agree. I, I actually had a lot of fun with it. And despite the rain, it actually was really cool coming into Manitowoc or Manitowoc. Well, f still figuring out how to pronounce that one. Wisconsin. <laughs> into Wisconsin. <laughs> it was something out of like an eerie Stephen King novel because the city just sort of like rose out of the fog as we were coming in. And, and the captain was laying on the fog horn quite heavily. But it was, I have to say, that was actually kind of a really enjoyable experience and something you wouldn't see every day when it was sunny. One thing I also would recommend is watching your car go on and off the ferry. Uh, you, you know, basically you park it in line and then the staff drive it on and off for you so you don't have to maneuver it. Uh, but we stayed up on deck to watch ours come off. And I just think that was kind of fun. It's pretty amazing how they can maneuver all of these vehicles. And you've got everything from semis to RVs to cars. And we even had the experience of having somebody with a helicopter like trailered on the back of their truck. So that's not something you see every day, uh, but definitely worth the experience to, you know, be able to go up on deck and watch your cars go on and off. So if you want to go from Michigan to Wisconsin or vice versa across Lake Michigan, consider the SS Badger. Whether you're going by helicopter, <laughs> RV, Planes, motorcycle, trains, or automobiles, <laughs> keep on trekking. And we'll see you out there.